I'd go back to value and cost. So, I mean, look, if there's almost no cost of opening a data set, do it now. The thing is you do need to put in place processes to make sure data keeps being updated, that it's of good quality. So I would focus, I think quality is really important. I think also doing stuff in an agile way. Move fast and iterate. Release some data sets, see what happens, and then keep improving. I would say focusing on data quality right now is important, but I wouldn't say de delay for that. I'd say get something out there and keep iterating. The other thing I'd say, don't do open data on its own. It's part of an, what I'd call a frictionless data strategy or frictionless insight strategy. How do we use data and information to make better decisions, allow for more innovation, and allow for more participation? And it's, an, oh, it's a part of that bigger strategy that you want to do. And open data is a part of it, but like, look at like, great, you've got open data, but you, like, the data is out of date by two years and it's never maintained. It's no use at all. So you kind of got to be part of an overall strategy where data is maintained, put out there, and used. You know, engage with users. I can't be, one of the things we do a lot at Viderum and a lot at Open Knowledge International is I call agile data, just like you do agile software. Go and iterate, come up with problems, solve them with data, and go around that loop and keep, keep improving. And that's the way I would go.